Wait, wait, guys. Uh, you don't have an ugly voice. Uh, well, well, you do. But what if I told you there's a solution? <laughs> Am I supposed to do Bro, I know this is corny. Please do this for me, please. I'll pay you. <laughs> you can solve it in one way. Go to the most anticipated video on my channel. Whew, my goodness. Because of a promise I made. I'm about to fulfill it now. You guys have been on my neck. Ish. How to make a crowd format song. So now one may ask, what is crowd format style? What is that? <laughs> not to worry, my friends. Well, the crowd format style is the way that you... Hey, we are not here to beat around the bush. You came to know how to do the crowd format style, right? Yes, yeah, so that's what you get. But, but we need to explain what crowd format is. And ladies and gentlemen, that, that's crowd format song. Wait, I don't know whether that's the right word for it, crowd format or something. I'm sure I'm the one who probably came up with that name. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys should give me my flowers. Oh, <laughs> not what I expected, but I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll so now the question is, how do you come up with the crowd format song? First of all, what you need is the song. <laughs> the idea for that one i can't come up with the idea for you if your song is trash it is trash I'm, I'm sorry i'm simply here to show you guys how they came up with this and this and probably every crowd format song you hear every time everywhere which i predicted thank you give me my flowers uh, no no not that one and also to make it interesting so that the people who don't really care about the intricate details of music uh, are also entertained the first thing you need are people Stay with me. Also a software, which we call DAW. And guys, every time you hear somebody say DAW, it means Digital Audio Workshop. It is the software that we use to make music. Understood? And there are a lot of different popular ones. My favorite is Ableton. I don't care what everybody uses. I like Ableton. So I try to explain it in a way that it's not too technical that everybody can understand. Is it coming out well? Hey, yeah, it's good, it's good. But we need more layers. Bista, bista, bista. You see, my friend here, let's play. Uh, let's just say he doesn't have uh, too much of a nice voice. <laughs> but not to worry, that's not a problem. With crowd format, that's not a problem. No, he just become a backup singer. But guys, anyways, he's a YouTuber. Check him out. You love him, I promise. But one thing, don't go with your emotions. Uh, trust me, you wouldn't want to. <laughs> he's worse than me. How about the crowd format, the first thing you need is the concept of distance. How far or close are you to the mic? Most of the time when you're singing, you're close to the mic, which makes it dry and clear. So what if we can create an illusion of distance or in a space and then there are more people than there actually is. And one way to create distance in music is just to move your input device away from your mouth. This is a crowd, right? And now this is a mic. Some people are closer to the mic. Some people are farther away from the mic. You get the concept, right? Move it farther away, it sounds farther away. I move it closer, it sounds closer, clearer. You get the concept, right? Hey, don't be having any funny ideas. <laughs> this should be in your mind right now. You are trying to create the concept of a crowd. You see, when you go to a stadium or a festival and a musician is performing, when they say, that response voice, you see how loud that response voice feels like? And a lot of people saying the same thing and they're saying, you, you get it? That's the concept we are driving at. The crowd format is mostly done just to make you feel part of the song. And with this, you don't really need a good voice. It's everybody in the crowd having a good voice. No. So here's how to do it. Also, most preferably, it's better you have different voices doing this. But since most of the time you are the one singing alone, uh, well, th that's one trick. Okay, now let me visually explain it. The most important thing you need in your DAW is the record button. Once you find that, you are good to go. So I play the beat to use as my guideline. Okay, so now I have to give myself some tempo. And I have to give myself some lyrics, you understand? Subscribe to my YouTube channel in all the course. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do is to change my voice in different styles to depict different people singing, you understand? Subscribe to my YouTube channel in all the course. Subscribe to my YouTube channel in all the course. Subscribe to my YouTube channel in all the course. Okay, guys, so now that we've gotten the close distance ones, we need to do the farther distance ones, you understand? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know the cause. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know the cause. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know the cause. Just try to be as far away from the mic as I can. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know the cause. 
But guys, you get the concept now. I'm trying to depict how a lot of crowd will be singing one song. There are some people close to the mic. There are some people farther away from the mic. There are some people like where you understand. And now when we join them all together, this is what we had. Cheers. Subscribe to my YouTube channel in all the cause. Hmm, wow, you see, we are getting somewhere. Now, you know one way we can spice this thing that we've done up? In every single DAW, there is a plugin. When I say plugin, something added to the software. It's a plugin that we call reverb you've heard me saying this thing a lot and then what reverb does is you know what i'll just show you subscribe to my youtube channel in all the cause see what is doing there yes now that is it ladies and gentlemen now with this reverb the wetness or the, the dryness with it is according to preference some people like their own dominant inside the song i probably don't like my crowd uh, dominant in the song just a little for you to hear it but not too much for it to overshadow the main vocals i i hope you get it now all we need is for the music to make sense and now we have a crowd format song that's the most underlining factor the crowd format now with all this an idea began cropping up in my head I'm going to make a single, a song that depicts the crowd format, also a personal song that I can upload to all platforms now. Whoosh! Okay, so I began with this. And I was like, I need like a call and response something because that's the main originator of uh, the crowd format thing. I'm gonna say all uh, my prayers, prayers, they cannot touch us, they're gonna try to replace. Say all uh, my prayers, prayers, so they cannot touch us, they're gonna try to replace us, but then no, no, no. Guys, we are onto something right now. Then I added a few instruments. Ladies and controllers. So about the crowd format, right? It's all about preference and volume. How dominant do you want the crowd format to be in the song? That's up to you. Personally, I want it head, but not too dominant, not to overshadow the main vocals. That's me. All right, so controllers. I came up with a single. Oh, <laughs> you didn't know I'm a musician too. Yes, like I said, I am. I I'm just using a different route to to my music career. You know, <laughs> don't worry, I'll be topping the chart soon. Can I hear your name, man? Guys, this particular single will be out on all platforms. It's already out. Uh, wait, wait, what, what do the artists say? Yeah, <laughs> let's run up the numbers. <laughs> this is the reason why I've been delaying this video for a while now. So I'm gonna put the link in the description so I beg you, you guys stream it for me. Eh? In as much as I want to tell you, I've got to show you. So Control is uh, the original song you ask for. I'm gonna say all my prayers, prayers. so they cannot touch us. Then God has tried to replace us, but then no, no, no. <laughs> Try to replace, but then no, no, no. Oh. 